gentlemen, your attention, please. Presenting for your entertainment, the greatest high-diving act in the world, the Great Divo. Gee, isn't he wonderful, Uncle Joy? He must be. He sure does draw the crowds. Thanks, Corky. But wait till we hit St. Louis. Then I'll really show you something. Maybe someday I'll be able to dive like that. You want to be a diver? I sure do. And Cal's been giving me lessons. Oh, that's nice, Jones. I guess that's why you didn't have time to ball that platform up there properly. The platform? Yes, it's loose. I almost lost my balance. I want it fixed right away. Yes. If you can't do your job right, I'll find somebody who can. <laughs> Corky, it's kind of windy up there. I think I better take the ladder down to fix it. I can fix it better that way. Won't it take a long time? Yeah, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel our diving lesson. Oh, for just a couple hours, Corky. Okay? Sure, Cal. I'll be back later. Hi, Corky. Going swimming? Yes, Mr. Champion. Cal's been giving me diving lessons. Well, that's fine. When do you take Divo's place? Next week? Oh, I won't be ready that quick. I don't think. We've got a problem, Joey. I just got word from my advance man that the Cavanaugh Circus is playing our schedule just a few days ahead of us. They're playing St. Louis, too? That's right. Looks like we'll have to change our whole route. Well, there's lots of territory left. I thought we'd head this way toward Little Rock. Well, how about, how about over this way north to uh, Joplin? That'll put us in Centerville, Mayfield, Exeter, and Colton. Yeah, they're all good short jumps, and they're, they're good, good play towns, too. I think you're right, Joey. That route looks pretty solid. Excuse me, Uncle Joey. I'm going to go swimming now. Well, don't you forget about dinner. Oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Anytime that fella forget dinner. <laughs> Thanks. All right, now, how about you? Get your toes up there. a boy. Keep your knees together and let's go. <laughs> how was that, Bimbo? <laughs> well, maybe he's right. Oh, sure you will. Pretty soon you'll be doing one of these back dives. I'll try and do one, going with my feet. Ah, oh, 
hard at work, I see, Jones. I got the work all finished, sir. You haven't even started yet. I want this whole rig repainted. Repainted? That's right, so get on with it. When we hit St. Louis, I want everything in perfect order. But we're not going to St. Louis, Mr. Divo. Who told you that? I heard Mr. Champion said that another show's there, so we're going somewhere else. But he told me anything about it. Thanks for the information, kid. Well, if we pull out of Centerville day after tomorrow, that'll put us in Joplin two weeks from Saturday. That's perfect, Joy. Pete and I will ride over and build Centerville tonight. You take care of things while I'm gone. All right, Tim. Mr. Champion? What's this I hear about changing the route? Word gets around pretty fast, doesn't it? Yeah. How about St. Louis? It's out. Cavanaugh's there ahead of us. Isn't that great? Uh, I've played all over this territory, Diver, and there's some very nice small towns here. Small towns is right. When I joined your show, I understood we'd play some big time. Well, I'm sorry, Divo, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, maybe you can't. But I can. What's on your mind? Kavanaugh made me an offer a few weeks ago. Maybe I should take it. Yes, maybe you should. He seems to be able to play the big towns. I don't want anybody on this show that's unhappy or dissatisfied. You've got a pretty good act, but I think we can manage to get along without you. Fine. How soon can I leave? Is now soon enough? Go on over to the White. I'm sorry, Tim. He was sure dragging the people in. I guess it was my fault, Mr. Champion. I told him we weren't going to St. Louis. Don't worry, Corky. He'd have found out about it quick enough. Well, Joey, while I'm in Centerville, wire Kansas City. See if Carson, the human torch, is available. Yeah. Did he say Centerville? Yeah. We're opening there day after tomorrow. You ever been there? It's my hometown. Gee, I'll bet you'll be glad to see all your friends again. Sure. Sure, I'll be glad. suitcase. Uh, now, don't tell me you're joining up with Kavanaugh, too. Oh, no, it's just a trip. Uh, I left you a note. A no oh, g give me the note, Corky. I don't, I don't understand, but... Dear friends, I'm going away for a while. Keep up your diving, Corky, and good luck, Cal. Well, come on in for a minute. Well, I... Uh, come on, you've got time for you. Go, come on, Cal. Yeah, just say goodbye. Huh? Yeah, but put your suitcase down. Here, sit down, Cal. Come Thanks. On. Sit down. Thanks. Why are you going away, Cal? Don't you like it here? Oh, sure I like it here. It's just that, well, Divo left, and I haven't got much to do, and I... Well, that's about it. Is that the only reason? No. The reason is I can't go back to Centerville. Well, what's wrong with Centerville, Cal? Nothing wrong with Centerville. It's me there's something wrong with. Did you have some kind of trouble there? Uh, I was always in trouble there. Don't worry, Cal. We'll help you. This, this trouble you were in, nothing serious, though, huh? To me, it was. Cal Jones, Centerville's biggest boob. Oh, now, who'd call you that? Everybody. Mostly Sally's father. Sally's a girl. That figures. We don't think you're a boob, Cal. You don't know me well enough. I'm a boob, all right. I never could do anything right. Like the time I was ahead in the cross-country race. Missed the turn and wound up in the wrong town. Well, that could happen to anybody. Sure, sure, but it always happens to me. And then there was the time I was watchman on the volunteer fire department. I saw a runaway horse with a baby tied to the saddle, and I took off after it. And you couldn't catch it? Oh, I caught it all right, about three miles outside of town. Meantime, the... City Hall caught fire and burned to the ground. But you did save the baby. The baby turned out to be a mama doll that Joe Jenkins was taking home to his kids. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh, I... Well, you, you can't blame her father for thinking I'm a boob. Uh, that's Sally. Yeah, she's my... She's a girl. 
<laughs> We've established that fact. Uh, she'll be glad to see you, Cal. Oh, no, she won't. Not after the way I've let her down. How did you let her down? Well, you see, I've been writing her letters, telling her what a big performer I am with the show. What's she going to think when she finds out I'm just a roustabout? Well, uh, your folks will be glad to see you anyway. Uh, I don't have folks. I'm like you, Corky, except, <laughs> well, I haven't even got an Uncle Joey. I can just hear her father now. Cal's nothing but a boob and a big liar on top of it. Cal. Cal, I got an idea. Listen, Cal, how would it be, how would it be if you went back to Centerville as a headliner with this very circus? Be a headliner? What could I... Well, you, you see, I couldn't get the fella to take Divo's place like Big Tim told me. And so... you could take Divo's place. Yeah, you, 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 you mean the, the dive for life? That, that's right. You can do it, can't you? Sure, you can do it, Cal. You can do anything Divo can do, can't you, Cal? I don't know about that, Corky. Besides, we better forget it. Oh, Mr. Then... Champion would never give oh, me a chance. Oh, no, you'd be doing him a big favor. That act is quite a drawing card. Yeah, I, I would be a headliner, wouldn't you I? You said it. And they couldn't call you boob then. Uh-uh. I can do it. I know I can. Well, how do you like it, Cal? Daredevil Jones. That's me, huh? That's right. And since this is your hometown, I've taken out a full-page ad in the paper with your picture right in the middle of the front page. Gosh, I gotta get a copy. I've got one over in the wagon. I'll get it for you. Thanks. Hey, wanna go take a look at the ladder? You gotta make sure everything's right. Oh, it's all right. I've already checked it. Cal? Oh, Calvin? Sally! Oh, Sally, it's nice to see you. Oh, it's nice to see you too, Cal. Oh, do I get it back? Oh, sure. How's your father? Oh, he hasn't changed. I was afraid of that. Oh, I want you to meet Corky. Corky, this is Miss Sally Blake. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Pleased to meet you, Corky. Cal, is that you? Yes, ma'am. Biggest act in the show. Die from way up there. Well, you never said anything about this in your letters. How long has this been going on? Well, I... Tomorrow will be the first time. Calvin. It's my big chance, Sally. Are you sure you can do it? Cal can do anything. He's the best diver in the whole world. Oh, I know. I've seen him dive, but... What do you say we all go for a ride, hmm? You two go along. You don't want me. Oh, yes, we do, Corky, don't we, Cal? Sure, we do, Corky. Come on. We'll show you all the points of interest, Corky. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> oh, Centerville has more than that. Do you still have the picture I sent you, Cal? Well, yeah, it's around someplace. Oh, it's almost got worn out from him looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Corky could see the view from Lookout Point. Come on, Corky. Uh, you two go ahead. Uh, I've got a stone in my shoe. Well, that's a shortcut up here, but it's pretty dangerous. Oh, be careful. Gee, that must be thousands of feet. Look, Cal, come on. Sure. Sure, Corky, I'm coming. No, I can't. Okay. It's still there, isn't it? The old fear. You're still afraid of high places. What's the matter? I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? I'm afraid. You heard her. I'm afraid to look down there. 
not angry at you, Corky. Please try to understand, hmm? Attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will kindly turn your attention to the diving ladder, we would like to present Centerville's own Cal Jones. Maybe now you won't say those things Cal wrote me were lies. I'll change my opinion when he does it. If he does it. Daredevil Jones, from that tiny platform, will do his amazing dive for life into that shallow pool. Up he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Yourself, son? No, sir. I, I just lost my grip. I'll be right tonight. We'll talk about that later. You'd better get over to the cookhouse and get some coffee. Come on, Joey. We got work to do. You you sure you're all right? Sure, sure, Marta. I keep telling everybody that. Oh, Cal. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I know. I'm sorry, Sally. Sorry I let you down. I'll never change. It isn't his fault. He couldn't help it. He's afraid of high places. That's something you can't blame him for. Take it easy. Take it. We, we understand. We love him just like you do. It's all my fault. I got him into trying. Uh -huh. Oh, well, why don't you go to him now? He needs you. And tell him that we understand, huh? I'll go, too. <laughs> Where have you been, Sally? Been waiting for you for a half an hour. We've been looking for Cal, Dad. We can't find him any place. Of course you can't find him. He left town like he did the last time he made a boob of himself. How do you know? Saw him get on a horse, start heading north. Well, that's toward Lookout Rock. Remember what he said this morning, Corky? Yeah, he said he'd rather die than fail again. Than fail again. We've got to stop him, Dad. Please, Dad. Please. All right, Sally. All right.
going to be all right, Corky. You'll be all right. How'd you get down here? Straight down. Come on. Oh, Cal, that was terrific. Mm. But what were you doing up there? You had us worried half to death. I just had to try and look down. I, I figured if I could lick that fear of heights, why, no limit to how high I could go. Well, Dad, what do you think of him now? Well, it uh, looks like I'm stuck with a high-dider in the family. Welcome home, Cal. <laughs>